When we think of the overall, the sleep and the breathing, you know, we have this, you know, sleep disordered breathing model. And then we have this other model called breathing disordered sleep. You know, what came first here, the chicken or the egg? Exactly. Exactly. So the way the system is right now, the, the, what most people know about having a diagnosis related to a sleep related issue kind of surrounds the snoring aspect and obstructive sleep apnea. So there's a lot of anxiety in the public about going to get tested to see what's wrong with their sleep because they're afraid they're gonna get prescribed uh, a machine that they don't wanna wear. And to me that, that triggering of that fear and that anxiety to people, you know, will come back around to that because that's so connected with their daytime breathing. But in healthcare, all we're looking at is you know, as they went to sleep, everything relaxed, their tongue relaxed, it occluded the airway. So they stopped breathing for a few seconds, their oxygen drops. Oh, okay, let's give them an, a CPAP, let's give them an oral appliance, let's intervene.